What we were trying to achieve with the building is, is a design that the, the bank, the people of the bank could be proud of. A building that actually said something about a progressive organisation, an organisation that actually cared about the people um, that worked for it and also about the community. Our uh, instructions to the architects were to have a, a modern building, a, an open building, a transparent building. We, we wanted it to be a landmark building for Bendigo, but we didn't want it to dominate. The biggest challenge was putting this building on this site in such a historic context. This building is a lot bigger than any other building in Bendigo. Our first aim was to break the size of the building down. Instead of building a tower of 10 floors, it's reduced to six. And what we've done is created a series of buildings along the site that, that interact into um, the streetscape. The colours on the, of the building are very much generated out of the Bendigo environment. You've got the reds that are similar in a way to some of the Bendigo Bank corporate colours, but they also integrate the red brick of the surrounding context. And then moving through to the greens, um, which is the interaction we've saw with the park. The first decision to actually locate the building here is, the, is, is a very fundamental sustainable decision about regenerating a part of the town. There are a thousand people that come to work here every day. Car parking is minimal. And what that means is that a lot of the people actually have to walk through the streets of Bendigo, past all of the other retailers, past the cafes, to be able to get to the building. The building has been designed to achieve a five star green star rating. And we believe that this is one of the first buildings in regional, in regional areas to actually achieve this. In a commercial building, uh, 75 to 80 per cent of the water is uh, through flushing and so it's a virtually a closed loop of water because the water that gets flushed gets treated, recycled back into the system and gets flushed again and recycled back into the system. The western facade is fully sunscreened and that sunscreen provides us with the ability to be able to reduce the heat load on the building which in turn reduces the amount of air conditioning that's required inside the building. One of the, the major environmental initiatives also are the central atrium spaces and what they're, they're doing is allowing a, as much natural light penetration down into the heart of the building so that we're really trying to have as much natural light within the building as possible and not relying upon artificial lighting. Well, the Bendigo Centre uh, comprises not just the Bendigo head office, Bendigo Bank head office, it's also a new public square, Lyric Square, there's a new boardwalk over the creek, there are new cafes and restaurants and, and retail shops. We've made a major investment in this city and I think it gives a very strong message to the community that we are here for the long term.